Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Real quick, before I get into this video, I want to tell you about PopCultureZone.com. They are a website specializing in comic books, some of the hottest variants, and CGC comics. And for those raw comics, if you are shipping to the domestic United States, you only pay $4.99 flat rate shipping. PopCultureZone.com. Now on to the video. What's going on guys, it's Brian with Superman's Comics, back once again to give you my picks for books that are heading final order cutoff this coming Monday slash Sunday. We have some great picks for you this week. I like to say it's quality over quantity. I don't have a lot of picks. I do have some that I really, really like. Starting right off with, we're getting into Dark Horse Comics. We're getting Last Flight out. Now I just interviewed Mark Guggenheim on this channel the writer of Last Flight Out. He's also the creator of the Arrowverse. He creates shows like Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow. He's done a whole bunch of other stuff between Hollywood, video games, and comic writing himself. But Last Flight Out is a six issue miniseries. Kicking off with this issue, Earth is dying, and we're down to the last flight out. If you get left behind here, sorry for your luck. And the problem is, the architect that created this whole program, his daughter is not getting on the flight and he has to go find her and save her. Absolutely love this first issue. And don't forget, Dark Horse and Netflix do have a first look deal. Not to say this might become something, but it's important to know that that option does exist. Either way, I'm excited about Last Flight Out. Read the first issue digitally. Can't wait to pick it up on flop. It's not very often I have one Dark Horse comic in my picks each week, but this week I have two picks and we get issue number two of that Cullen Bun goodness, Lucky Devil number two. Talked about the first issue in this very video series. If you're a fan of Cullen Bun, such as I, the first issue was exceptional. Here we're getting issue number two of this four issue mini series hitting FOC this Monday as well. Getting over to Marvel, we get one epic event in Marvel's Dark Ages number one. I have been vocal before how a lot of these events I'm not really a fan of because they always start out great and then kind of fizzle off. But this is one I am excited for because all you got to do is look at the writer on this series and it's one of my favorite writers right now with Tom Taylor. That's right, Tom Taylor is everywhere. Love to see this. He's written a lot of great stories for DC Comics especially with that Injustice line. And here we are getting an event from him over into Marvel. That's right, a danger older than Earth itself has come to light. Here we're getting X-Men, Avengers, Spider-Verse, and Fantastic Four all coming together, but they say that might not be enough. Either way, we're getting a dark story. Tom Taylor is the perfect person to write this. I can't wait to pick this one up. And issue one is hitting FOC this coming Monday, and it has some great covers going for it as well. And if none of these covers are to your liking, keep your eye out, because I'm sure there's gonna be some store exclusives as well. Also from Marvel, we get Demon Day's Cursed Web number one. Here we have Mariko Yoshida going on a personal epic journey to discover things about her past, but within doing so, she finds a blue-skinned woman and a giant that's both out to get her. So I'm anxious to see how this plays out, but more importantly, I also have this in the video because there are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous covers for this one. If you're, if you're like Peach Momoko, who's also writing this, she has covers, of course. There's a gorgeous Jenny Frizen variant. There's some other great covers as well as some incentive variants for this. But either way, Demon Days, Cursed Web, I'm on board for, and I'm definitely pre-ordering. Then from Vault Comics, we get the last book you'll ever read. This is issue number two. Issue number one just came out. Huge fan, huge critic acclaim and stick around because we might have a later printing for issue number one. I'll get to that in just a minute. But either way, once again, Cullen Bunn sticking ink to paper. Another great series. Love Cullen Bunn and the creator owned stuff. Vault Comics, no strangers to this channel, and they have definitely made a resurgence with some of their titles. And issue number two for Last Book You Ever Read hits FOC Monday night. So make sure you get your orders in, especially when it comes to Vault Comics. Some comic book stores don't carry some of these indie publishers. So if this is something you're interested in, make sure you let your LCS know or get your order in online. And like we always say, pre-ordering a lot of times helps you maximize that discount as well. 
Getting over to DC Comics, we get that Batman Fear State Alpha number one. This is a one shot tying into DC's Fear State event where we get the dual threat of Scarecrow and Peacekeeper as well as the arrival of a mysterious anti-Oracle and the return of Poison Ivy. Batman's been great. James Tynan still writing on this. It also has fantastic interior art. Ricardo Federici has done a lot of great covers, but he's doing the interior art. He is doing the interior art for this. And that cover A has an absolutely amazing cover by Ben Oliver, another guy who's known for some great cover art. There's also, of course, an incentive one in 25 Jorge Jimenez design variant, as well as a Matina cardstock variant. And on top of that, friends of the channel, the 616 Comics has their own exclusive for this by the great Megan Hutchinson Cates. That's right, she's been knocking out cover after cover for the 616, and they have all been amazing. So she's bringing that art style over to Batman with Batman Fear State Alpha number one. They have two different covers up there, one for $14.99 limited to 3,000 copies, and then one for $24.99 limited to 1,500 copies. Or you can go Pokemon style, collect them all, Get both covers for $34.99. They also do have some of the regular covers for sale on the site. Again, that's at the616comics.com. And while you're there, you can also check out, also hitting FOC this week, Red Sonya number one, the 616 Comics, has a Sun Kamenaki variant for Red Sonya number one. Another gorgeous cover available on their website. And they do have a super limited 250 copies metal virgin variant for this cover as well. So if you're a Red Sonya fan, if you love Sun Kamenaki's art, be sure to check that out at the 616 Comics. Getting back over to Vault Comics. This is a book that was originally on FOC last week. It got pushed to this week and we get Dead Box number one. This looks like a great series. I love horror comics. I think that's why a lot of horror picks end up in this video. But either way, Vault Comics Dead Box number one. It plays on Red Box. Everyone's familiar with back in the day. It's still being used, but a lot of people have gone digital. You go to your gas station, Sheets, Wall Wall, whatever. A lot of times they had that red box DVD rental at the grocery store. This tape, this plays on that, but it's a cursed DVD machine. And it seems to know more about the fate of the town citizens than they do. Either way, I'm down to read this. Dead box number one hits FOC finally this Monday night. That's gonna bring us to the later printings from Aftershock Comics. We get Kaiju score number one, hitting a third printing. We know that Sony just picked up the movie rights to that. So people are excited. And Aftershock took notice and was like, let's get the book back out into the hands of readers. So they got that third printing for Kaiju score number one. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, the last book you'll ever read, number one is getting a second print. And then getting over to Black Mask, we get white number one getting a third print and white number two getting a second print. And also from Black Mask, we get Alice in Leatherland number one getting a third print. So there it is, guys. My picks for FOC for this week. Like I said at the beginning, not a lot of picks, but quality over quantity definitely this week. Let me know in the comments what books you guys are picking up. Even if they aren't in this video, what are you guys looking at for FOC? Please be sure to like this video and if this is your first time on my channel, please consider subscribing. With that being said, this is Brown Superman's Comics. See you guys in the next video. That's ISO. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound.